Here we go, 2010 Camaro SS, better than a Z01. Why? Well, Z01 brakes all the way around, way more horsepower. I'll get into that in a second here. First, I want to do a walk around in the car. Custom paint over $20,000 worth. You're going to see that the stripes are painted on, um, cleared over, and it is an absolute mirror image. As you walk around, you'll, you can see me in the Colorado mountains behind me. It is straight as an arrow. It is ready for car show. Z01 brakes on the rear here too. Beautiful, beautiful paint. And a lot more too. I'm just starting here with uh, the outside of the car and then I'll go to the inside. It's a little hard to see, I know, with uh, the sun shining, but you can see, again, this is a laser straight better than Z01 Camaro. When I say better, hang on, I'll show you. Let's first start with that rear differential. Um, a little hard to see out here without having it raised up, uh, but you're gonna see it's a custom differential and it is built to hold the horsepower. I wanna say it was four or 5,000 for that. It does have the 1,000 plus horsepower axles under there too. And we have a manual transmission as well. Custom built drive shaft to hold the horsepower. Suede interior everywhere. Look at this. Better than Z01 or the same as probably with that. Um, but it still retains the SS logo, MGW shifter, uh, custom gauges that just blend beautifully here with the uh, the boost and uh, air fuel, fuel pressure. Suede everywhere. I mean, I'm talking the back seat, headliner steering wheel it's like eight plus thousand dollars there and here comes the crown jewel under the hood we have a kenny bell supercharger 3.6 mammoth system 1200 horsepower capable tuned for around uh 900 and change right now for the street running on the 85 standalone fuel system um, right now, this is really a nice running vehicle. This lower end, though, is built bulletproof, uh, blower pistons, blower cam, all the good studs, a lot of head work done to it. Uh, turnkey racing engines in the front. Turnkey racing engines gets a bunch of money for an engine like this, uh, of this quality. Okay. Um, I didn't mention, but we do have also uh, the wheels. Huge upgrade there. 22s really changed the stance. Let's go for a spin. We're gonna jump in the car here, take you around town a little bit. Short little drive just to give you a taste of what uh, this car is like going down the road. And I'll give you just a little insight here too as I go to uh, fire it up and uh, see if I can see the odometer for you. As I go to fire it, I like to go ahead and key on, build some fuel pressure, okay. Let me fire it up. And right now I'm looking at, uh, yep, airbag light, probably something with the interior when it's reinstalled. 37,668 and a tire pressure light, but I'm going to kill that there as far as clearing it out. Um, I'm not worried about that. It's just a, uh, a battery for a sensor, if I recall. But you can tell that, you know, as I hand the camera off here, this vehicle really drives considerably nice when you think about the level of horsepower that it makes. Um, it's very drivable. It's not a car that, you know, you're stuck um, two-footing it at the stoplight, things of that nature. As I go to leave, though, that clutch disc is off or on. It is a McLeod twin-disc clutch holding, you know, all the horsepower you need, but it's an off and on switch. So if you feel that, you know, hey, I'm kind of a little... Uh, grab you with the clutch, that, that's kind of normal. It, it still does exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, transmission, Tremec TR6060, that's been modified for the horsepower. MGW sitting on top of it. Uh, really bumper to bumper, uh, this car has been built. Built to be a race car, uh, built to be a show car. Very fast in the quarter mile. I've never taken it to the track to beat on it like that. Um, but also possibly an over 200 mile an hour car. Um, it's geared in such a way that uh, you know you can cruise very nicely down the interstate. And today we have a beautiful Colorado sunset coming up. And it may put a bit of a glare on us as we're driving. But uh, 
the good stuff is coming up. We're going to get down the road here and speed up a little bit. But you know when I pull up to a stop sign, it's not a problem. I got power steering. It's driving just like any other car. Nice and smooth. I'm in third gear right now. And you can hear me pretty good. It's not super loud inside the car, you know. Uh, it's got three inch exhaust coming out the back, but it's going out the back. You can actually think and drive around and turn on some music if you really wanted to. It's got a great stereo system, but I'm not going to focus on that because it's a stock stereo system. And if you've been on a fifth gen Camaro, you know what to expect. But the powertrain is definitely overbuilt compared to a Z01. Everything about it. Able to hold a lot more horsepower. So I'm going to turn the trash control off. Um, it works fine, but you probably want to feel more what's really happening as I go to accelerate. I'm um, not going to get too crazy here. Um, you can look at the boost gauge a little bit, but really let's be looking out over the dash so you can see what I'm looking at. And I'm just going to, you know, first gear, second gear. And as I go to accelerate here, maybe 30% throttle. And I just tossed it into fourth gear because we were killing the tires. Don't want to get in trouble. Don't want to make a big deal out here today. Um, but at 30%, at 45 miles an hour, it's just gone. I mean, I was in second gear. If you're in third gear in this car on the interstate, if you're not careful and the traction control is not on, you can lose the back end if you're trying to pass a semi and you give it more than half throttle. So you gotta be really careful when you're driving something that's north of 900 horse on the street. And that's why I never went any further with the smaller pulley. Um, it's not making 1200 horse right now, but I'd say it's strong into the 900s. And you know, honestly, I'm just not gonna be able to glue any more of that down, okay? I'm gonna do a U-turn and drop the windows here. Second gear. No traction. So I've never put slicks on this car and, and tried to really glue it down and beat on it like that. I've treated it more as a beautiful, fun show car driver. I'd say that you know you can drive it like anything else. I've got one hand on the wheel, cruising along. Drives nice, drives smooth. Up here right where we started off just to do a, a final walk 